Is this the best possible upgrade for your RV? Stick around and see why I think it is. What's going on everybody? JP here from Wander to Get Lost and in this video I'm going over the RV Lock keyless entry system, specifically the Atlas that is a replacement for our Trimark paddle latch that came stock with our Class A RV that you can also find on Class C's and they're mainly found on a lot of um, Class A's and older models. This is a separate keyless entry system from their uh, smaller version which does not fit this kind of opening for the door so do I think this is probably one of the best upgrades you can do to your RV yes for the simple reason that when you're at an RV park like we are right now down in the Florida Keys we don't have to carry our our key to go do activities especially with water activities all you have to do come out of your RV close the door hit the lock button and it locks the deadbolt and when you're back And you're good to go in your RV. That right there, totally worth it. You're great. So, when we started full time RVing almost two years ago, our close friends bought a RV lock also. And that was one of the smaller models um, that does not fit this latch opening. So our latch opening is much bigger, much wider, and there's a couple of key things that you're gonna have to look for, so let's take a look. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is measure from the edge of your door to the front of the paddle area of your old paddle. This measurement has to be between two and a quarter to two and a half inches. The other thing is that your hinge has to be on the right side of your RV door. This only comes in one configuration and will only work this way. The third thing you have to look for is this right here, which is the set screw for the latch mechanism. You're gonna have a nut behind here that you're going to use to set the sensitivity of the latch. If you don't have that, you can't use this lock. All right, so after you've verified those three key items to make sure that this will actually work with your door, you have to remove your old handle. So installation was probably less than 30 minutes. It doesn't take long at all. There's a very good installation video by RV Lock. I can link to that down below. But it's a two-piece construction. There are three screws one two and three that's it and then there's two wires that you're gonna have to connect on the inside when you pull apart the unit prior to installation what I found was the easiest thing to do was to use start with the back handle and then you're gonna feed that into where the area where the latch is for the set nut you're gonna tighten the set nut let this handle hang down and then you're gonna mate the front handle onto the back and then tighten it down. Don't overly tighten the screws as you don't want to damage any of the electronics that are in the back. It just needs to be snug. But once you have the unit together in position where you want it, then you're going to use the included nut driver to set the sensitivity of the, of the latch nut. And you can tighten it and loosen it and that will determine how easy it is for you to pull on the paddles or the handle in the back and release the locking mechanism. Once you have that all set, you can get into programming your new RV Lock Atlas and get it all set up to have your own personalized key code, which is a four digit key code. And you can also set up your included fob remotes. To program your RV Lock Atlas, you have a couple of buttons back here and this switch, reset and learn. You're gonna use the reset button. You're gonna use a pin. You're gonna hold that down until you hear a loud beep noise. Once you hear that beep noise, you can come over here, enter any four digit number code. So let's say it was 6543. You're gonna hit the lock button. 
Once that beeps, you'll hit 6543 to confirm and hit the lock button again. That will program your RV Lock Atlas keypad. Now to program your key fob, you're gonna switch this switch to on, and then you're gonna hit and hold down the learn button until that beeps. Once you do that, you then take your key fob, and being that this is lock number one, I'm gonna use the unlock and the lock one. I'm gonna hold down the unlock button until it recognizes the key fob. Once it does that, it's learned that this key fob now is programmed to here. This on button must remain up for your key fob to work. Like so. This USB-C is the way you're going to charge your RV Lock Atlas. And it recommends that you charge it every, I believe, three months is what the battery, the lithium battery is good for. We are lucky enough that we have a short run when this door is closed. But I can plug a charger right up here into our outlet and just charge it overnight while we're sleeping. All right, and then of course the other way that you can use the RV Lock Atlas is in manual mode, which is you've got to do everything yourself. So when you come home at night, you can easily twist the deadbolt latch and you can unlock it. And then this will lock your handle down below. And simply raise the tab up and now it's unlocked. Included with your RV Lock Atlas, you also get two keys. We have one hidden somewhere on the outside of our RV in a special magnet case, just in case that we have to uh, access the RV and uh, for some reason the electronics are dead. But it's very simple. These keys work very nice. The deadbolt. That's it. And for the bottom, like so. That is pretty much it going over the new RV Lock Atlas from RV Lock. Gotta say, it is an awesome lock so far we've had it on for now probably three months we've had no issues with it it's still on its original charge and I think the next couple of days we're actually due to plug it in so I might actually just plug it in tonight just to give it a full charge I do know our friends who have the um, smaller RV lock paddle latch that's on their motor coach they have to use I believe double A or triple A's I will say having a lithium battery in this guy, being able to charge it with the USB-C cable, uh, awesome upgrade. As far as ease of use, you can't get any easier than this thing is. And I'm so happy that we finally bought this thing and put it on our RV. And it's just made, I guess, not having to carry keys around very nice. Especially not having to worry about them if we're out kayaking or paddleboarding. All right, everybody, that's it for our review on the RV Lock Atlas. As I asked the question in the beginning, is it probably one of the best upgrades you can make to your RV? Yes, and I will stick by that, and I'm happy we did it. So I will link down to RV Lock's uh, website to where you can purchase one of these. I believe you can also get them on Amazon, uh, but we bought it off of the RV Lock website. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along on our crazy RV journey. Thank you so much. Stay lost. See you on the next video.